the amygdala, and the bidirectional relations between mind and body, also known as amygdala and psychosomatic. Let's have a look at the processes in which the amygdala is involved from a broader psychosomatic perspective. Situations of chronic stress cause a hyperactivation of the sympathetic activity supported by the intense signaling of the amygdala. In this case, we are talking about different situations of chronic stress due to environmental or relational conditions to the person's job or other emotional factors. Even a light but ongoing situation of sleep deprivation can cause these effects. In many subjects, this constant activation of the sympathetic system can lead to early signs of cardiovascular problems. In subjects with these conditions, an increased reactivity of the amygdala to the social-emotional stimuli, like angry or sad faces, has been observed. This is just an example of networks and systems that can influence one another, but many others have been identified. In light of this information, it becomes crucial to act with a systemic view and simultaneously on multiple networks if we want to develop an effective approach in terms of quick results. For this kind of implication and approach, refer to the modules on psychosomatic and integration, but also to the talking mind module, which allows to manage communicative aspects in order to minimize conflicts, judgment, and sense of helplessness. These materials are free for the members of the Integrative Sciences Hub, the integrated sciences community that fosters change, development, and health.